Don't just swing the ball and wait for 10 seconds. Here's the lot play again. They knew it was coming. Robert Morris has been very effective this season when leading at the half 7-1. Foul inside as St. Francis Brooklyn tries to get the ball inside to its best player, Jalen Cannon. I just don't think people realize what a beast Cannon is to guard in that low post. That's why the zone is probably the most effective defense against uh, St. Francis. 6-5 forward Aaron Tate picks up the foul for Robert Morris, his second. That's stolen. Stewart, oh, the nice pass. Robert Morris with numbers and Pryor gets the layup. Second time against his own. That's what's great about playing his own. Turnovers are usually live ball turnovers that end up being two down the other end. Robert Morris has not missed a field goal since the 640 mark of the first half. Five straight made field goals for the Colonials. This is a difficult, this is a, a very important stretch to start the second half for St. Francis. They've just been very stagnant against this zone. Cannon, the inside power move, he's going to the line. Terrific job of taking him out of the game against St. Francis. Probably the best way to beat him. And when Robert Mars plays zone, that's what they do. This is in the halftime locker room for St. Francis Brooklyn is getting that guy the ball, Jalen Cannon. It's, it's just difficult, Zach, against his own. It's, it's hard to, to do that. That rebound there by Buffy Jones makes him now the all-time leader in Robert Morris University history in rebounding, 750. Jones misses the three, and the weak side rebound is taken down by Chris Hooper. Finally missed. Now you can get something in transition. Oh, nice move inside. Shot won't go. Cannon the board and the putback. He's an absolute beast. That's what I mean. But finally, they got to stop, which we talked about that missed. Then you can get the basket before the defense is set. Stephen Bennett with the ball. Number 45 for Robert Morris. Last year, his name was Stephen Hawkins. They changed the name to honor his late grandfather, Asa Bennett. And there's a steal. Two on one break. Easy for Jones. All of a sudden, you feel the momentum switch. A couple good defensive stops. Robert Morris finally misses a shot. St. Francis takes advantage before the zone is set. Right. Looking to push the tempo, but all because of that good defense. Reed with the pretty move. It's a heck of a move. Going to his left hand, finishes. Really. Difficult play to guard, terrific move. He's got nine points. Hooper, the spin off glass. It's a heck of a move for the young kid. And they're so worried about Cannon to get Hooper to the hoop. No pun intended, my friend. He's got the right name for this sport. Sure does. Eight points for Hooper. So many times you see deep, the, the second half is totally different than the first half. Both teams are... Oh, nice pass by Stewart. Bennett going to the line. Both teams are scoring. Bennett, a 60% free throw shooter coming into tonight's game. This is the first. That's not his normal stroke. Just watching this kid in practice and shoot around. He's got a nice, clean stroke. It's different when you go to the foul line. You almost have to adjust, take a deep breath, and get your routine down. He rushed that one. So Bennett changed his last name from Hawkins to Bennett to honor his late grandfather, Asa, who died when he was 16. It was a, a hard worker, and he wanted to reward that diligence. But he still answers to Hawk, which is what his teammates tell him. I can confuse the answers. Nice high oh, low. The baseline move, go past the foul for Hooper. Let's think about that. Once again, if your bigs can execute on the foul line, it can really help you win games. Moments ago, it was a 10 point lead for Robert Morris. St. Francis Brooklyn has cut it to four. Bennett from the baseline. Terrific defensive rebound. I love the kids' hands. Just switching everything with defense. Now, all of a sudden, we're getting some flow to this game, going up and down. Hooper again. He's going back to the line. Stephen Bennett cannot let him get to his left hand. I'm sure that's in the scout. Times two kids fail to read that a guy's a left. Nothing frustrates you more because 
This is why you spend all that time to shoot around. I think Coach Tool did that today. And like, he's guarding him. Like, he's not going to go to his right hand. On social media, he goes by Lucky Lefty. <laughs> That's pretty fun. <laughs> he's giving it away. Three-point game. Really good. You can feel the momentum switch. Reed. Bennett. Station, Indiana. It's a good stroke. This kid should be a terrific pressure. Keeps it high. Nice finish. It's a big play. 50-50 ball by Pryor. That's something that doesn't show up in the scoreboard at all. Pryor makes this two points. Great fashion. And goes through the court and gives Robert Morris a five-point advantage. Let's go. Let's get into it. Don't wait. It's too soft. It's no survey. Let's catch and look. Be impressive. The zone gave St. Francis Brooklyn fits in the first half. It's a terrific zone. Don't get me wrong. But they're just stagnant. Jones knocks down the tray. It's a second three. Obviously, that's what you can really hurt his own. Just can't live on that. Fire. Pull up. One on one play between Pryor and Jones. They're two kids that just can create their own shots. Inside along the baseline. Foul call. And since then, it's become a close game. It was a 10 point lead at the time. Well, Bennett did a good job on offense, but defensively in that center position, they got the ball inside. Now they put Gomez into the game to try to guard the center spot. Don't let the bigs get it. Gomez is in the paint, wearing number one for Robert Morris. 15 to shoot for St. Francis Brooklyn. Inside, Kim. Sanabria, the nice pass. Under 10 to shoot. Jones for three. Offensive rebound usually leads a most difficult time to guard the threes on an offensive rebound. One point game. Since you're, both teams are playing really well, obviously the momentum now in St. Francis' favor. That was an eight point halftime lead for Robert Morris. Marquise Reed from way out. We call that run outs. We can show down a little bit later. That's just a simple run out pop back. Wow. Circus shot. Set up before, get there before the defense is set. Good way to beat the zone. Brent, the fancy bucket. Both teams entering tonight's play with 3 and 1 in the NEC. Behind Bryant and St. Francis University. The first. Great weak side help. Jones for three. Uh, Great transition offense. Once again, kind of thing here is that get there before the zone is set. And St. Francis Brooklyn has retaken the lead for the first time since leading 17 to 16 in the first half. And what this is, this is two really good basketball teams playing very well. Foul called on Reed. Robert Morris. The back to back regular season NEC winner. And this season, the three doesn't go. Fight for the rebound. Lucky Jones has it. This season, St. Francis Brooklyn, the preseason pick by the coaches to win the conference. Nice pass. Gotta make that buddy as a good walk would say, slow it down, big fella. Look at you with the imitation. There's a tie dye shirt. Let's go attack the zone quick. We've got to look to shoot every time. Square up like you're going to shoot it. You've got to get those guards to come out. Sanabria, show the shot. You don't have to shoot, but show it. Apollon picks up the foul. What do I need by that? Just, you just can't fake shot. Like, Triple threat position, simple things you learn in high school. You gotta do it at this level. That's a big foul. They're already, they're not used to this. They're a zone team and they're already in the panel. With 12.42 to go. 
Sanabria makes the first of a one and one. He'll get one more. Let's give Hooper credit for getting him in the penalty. That was a big turn point. The take came out of the game, the middle of the zone all of a sudden became open, and they, they attacked it. It's a huge advantage to be able to go march to the foul line just on a simple bump outside. Sanabria hits both. St. Francis Brooklyn up by three. You can feel the momentum is in St. Francis, but you know there's going to be a run. It's going to go, it, just know it's going to come down to the last four minutes. And check foul. Bad idea. Here's the switch again. They get burned again on the switch. Let's go. Push it. All right, and then get it out. Which allows Robert Morris to set up his own defense. Well, Zach, I just say talk about pace. Doesn't mean you have to shoot it, but pace, push it, get them jumping around early in the possession. St. Francis Brooklyn on a 23 to 10 run since Aaron Tate picked up his third foul early on in the second half. Nice pass inside. Hill finishes. I tell you what they do a, a really good job at is scoring in the interior against his most teams just settle for threes. Wow, great defense. Passing and attacking early in the possession has been the key to this run. St. Francis Brooklyn has got on a 25 to 10 run since Aaron Tate, one of the big forwards for Robert Morris, picked up his third in the opening minute of this second half. It's a great zone. That was pretty good action. I don't like the reset ever. No resetting. Just, man, that's two foul shots, too. We talked about that. Just can't have the cheap. Here we go. Five set of eyes. Reset the defense. Very difficult to score against. Brent Jones misses the first of a one and one. Robert Morris goes back the other way. That's a critical miss. 75% foul shooting. Rodney Pryor for three. It's a big time shot. Went out through that dribble handoff and made him play. 13 points for Pryor. And the made baskets allowing Robert Morris to set up the defense. And it's either, either on that team play zone, Look, we're just standing around, 20. And they're, that's a good zone. It's making it difficult. Cannon inside the paint. The turnaround doesn't go. It's great defense. Difficult shot, challenged. Robert Morris can tie. They do. Same thing. Anytime you get in transition early. Early offense beats really good defense. Andre Frederick tying the game up at 46. Both teams playing extremely hard. Ten minutes to go. You can feel it's going to go down to the wire. Stewart knocks it away. It remains St. Francis Brooklyn ball with 19 to shoot. But a wild second half here. Eight point lead at the start for Robert Morris. And St. Francis Brooklyn rallies to take the lead, and now tied again. Back and forth with teams getting the defense set, it seems like it's the key. Very difficult to score. They've done a good job interior. It's pretty good penetration, but it's making it very difficult to go inside. Ball drives on Frederick. For Morris and St. Francis Brooklyn tied at 46. Really, okay, extend the defense. You gotta be concerned with the penetration now. Which it is. Just too extended. Kid like Pryor, let him get to his strong hand. And we're way too extended against a kid that talented. 15 points for Pryor. And Robert Morris retakes the lead up by two. Somehow get Cannon to touch. That's good inside out right there. That's what I'm talking about. Falling with an excellent play there. Terrific decision. Jones with the three to get St. Francis Brooklyn to one point eight. And right back, Reed. Tell you what, as this season's going around, Reed, Pryor, and Jones in this lead can make their own shot really difficult to go. I don't know what else you want the kid to do. Ten lead changes, Steve. And now it's Robert Morris on top of the seesaw. 
Just well played game. Love to see the ball move. We got to get some penetration inside out. Flash him. Under 10 to shoot. Jewel. Score. Takes an ill advised one, gets his own, and then figures out a way to put it in the basket. You don't put that up on the chalkboard. That's called recruiting. There you go. 11th lead change in this game. They've done a very good job. Both teams really execute. There's a switch on the ball screen. You can't let them hang them out there. It's but you see, there's no frustration. He's keeping his team in the game. He's doing everything he can. I can't tell you enough the mental toughness that that, 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 that means to, to be a good player like that. Not going really well. Cannon entered tonight's action second among all active NCAA players in rebounding. Kayvon Stewart can give Robert Morris the lead. Another amazing thing about Cannon is he plays thir almost 35 minutes a game because he doesn't foul. It's very rare for an inside player to only foul less than two times a game. Eight minutes to go. There have been 12 lead changes. Can we get a high low again? Can we get someone in that high post? It's, it's not a bad. Jones with 16 points since halftime a major difference maker, pushing the tempo, not allowing Robert Morris to set up that zone. That's a, that's a heck of a half against the zone. That's, obviously, they're so worried about Cannon inside. He's giving him some room to shoot, and he's taking advantage of it. Jones ties the game up at 52. A really good basketball player for the Northeast Conference. He's, he's a second-leading scorer, 81 assists on the year. And he hasn't been a great three-point shooter, but he, he's one of those players, you give him a three, he can make it. In top ten, and you see in five categories. Nice stop track. St. Francis Brooklyn has been impressive since halftime. Inside, take. Oh, the block. It's a heck of a rebound. Great. Defense on it, and that's Lucky Jones doing what he does, coming the all-time leading rebounder here, Robert Morris. Get, some, get that high low going again. See, I just think they're, they're resetting. This is basically a man set they call horns. It's just, it's a foolish foul, and that's. This is what we're talking about. This is, let's fall again. He's a really two and a half blocks per game. It's, uh, we talked about the foul shooting being critical because they were in the bonus. They're in the double bonus now. They haven't had to do anything. Sure that we don't get cheap ones 35 feet from the basket. Andy Fall, a native of Senegal. Big shot. He averaged eight plus blocks per game his senior year of high school in New York City. I think you got to keep him in front. Hard to extend your defense against these type of offensive players. The putback is good by Bennett. Robert Morris retakes the lead. A little bit of their medicine. Going after the glass. Just so impressed with both teams' balance. Really good, solid basketball players. And they got good role players and good stars. 15 to shoot. Got to get a swing. Under 10 to shoot. Over. He's going to the line for two. And so Bennett's been an asset on that today. Omer misses at the line. St. Francis Brooklyn is struggling at the free throw line in this one. 20. Wrong guy's getting fouled. It, it, it seems like he's been consistently post players going to the foul line. Second one also missed. It is, it's been the difference in this game because I, I, I feel like they're out playing them. 
feel like Robert Morris is being outplayed, but right now, they're up one. Nice pass. Jones. Now they didn't switch it because they were getting burned from penetration. They burned him on a pick and pop. Big possession for, for St. Francis. They've done a very good job this half, shooting almost 70%. But right now, the foul shooting has killed them, under 50%. Man, and you would think, double bonus situation, that's a major advantage. It's been the opposite. Well, isn't that crazy? Because you think that, as a coach, it just drives you crazy. Really trying to get it into the high post. St. Robert Morris does a really good job. Under 10 again, Zach. But the three goes for Sanabria. It's a 6 3. They're shooting the heck out of this half for passing. This game comes down to foul shots. They're really going to be frustrated when they look at the film because they're playing very good basketball. One point game. It's a good call. Tate's front. I think it's the right strategy as well. Switching against these players is very difficult. Robert Morris, 57. St. Francis, Brooklyn, 56. Five minutes to go here in Moon Township, Pennsylvania. Little high low, trying to get it into Cannon. So, the turnaround. Uh, they are so solid inside. They got so many different guys that can score against it. And I think this always made it difficult, but now we're talking, we're shooting close to 70% in the second half. Look at 15 lead changes in this game. 50-50. Timeout called before the home ball. I'm gonna get on my soap. We take the lead. They switch everything right here. They burned them a couple times. Fire off balance. Two difficult shots, the last two possessions for Robert Mars. If you ask me who's getting better shots the majority of the game, it has been St. Francis. That's not saying they're going to win, but typically that's the team that wins. He gets better looks. Great pass, inside out. Sanabria again. Execution. Just really good inside out. I'm going to sing the praises of Canada. Not having a great game, just willing to help his team win. Great pass. We oh, all the block by four. Three possessions in a row. They decided the really hard play game. Execution in the last four minutes is going to determine the winner. In the second half, St. Francis Brooklyn is shooting nearly 74% from the field. As we said about it, they could make fouls and be over. We oh, another rejection by four. That's six. You talked about the free throw shooting. St. Francis Brooklyn keeping Robert Morris in it, shooting just 50% from the line. Wild shot by Bucky Jones. I think he tried to draw the foul. That was bizarre. It was a great defense by Cam. He's got a hand in there. I, 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 he did not realize the clock was reset. That's the stuff that a young 34-year-old Andy Tool becomes 55 overnight. That's not execution. Now this is down under 10 again. Jones weaving his way. Cannon for three. Good, good, solid defense. It's a hard shot. Offensive rebound for Pryor. Rushes it. Jones inside. Another block. Oh! Almost compounded it right there. Let's, let's get this straight, Zach. These teams are playing extremely hard. Really fun to watch. 220 remaining. St. Francis Brooklyn 61. Robert Morris 57. What man to man? They're, they matched up. I would too. They haven't played man in a year and a half. Shot by Jones doesn't go, but he's going to the line for two. 
was built on man-to-man -man defense. They started out three and six last year, and he says it's not working. He has the guts to change it in midstream, and it won the season for him last year. And now with two minutes left to go in a huge game, he goes back to it. Big foul shots. Brent Jones has just played terrific. Robert Morris hasn't scored since Jones hit a three at the 556 mark. And guess what? They haven't taken good shots either. They've settled for challenge jump shots. Very stagnant. At the time, they had a four point lead. Jones misses the jumper. They've settled for challenge jump shots here in the last four minutes. Cannon now with eight rebounds tonight, moving from ninth place to sixth place all time in the Northeast Conference. Really interesting to see him play man to man. This is where they go. Oh, I would have shot him. Oh. Ten to shoot. Cannon the long range. It's a good looking stroke. Robert Morris has got to settle down. That's a good pass. Stewart misses the tray. Jones inside. He's going to the line. It's a warrior right there to get the board. That was a really good decision. Line coming into this one. Now, Coach Tool has an interest. Obviously, you got to knock these two down. Four point game, one minute to go. You don't have to foul. But the strength, especially this kid, Lucky Jones from St. Anthony's, Bobby Hurley, Tudor. The senior from Newark, New Jersey. Here's the press. Looks like a diamond. One, two, one, one. Let's go. Get it in. The Terriers beat it. Under a minute to go. Oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Foul, 75% foul shooter. Fall caught the ball there. Oh, he's a 67. That was a fault there. The other fault, there was a 301 for St. Francis. I always tell my team, let's, let's, if you can drive it and score, because they're probably going to foul anyway. Two points in the, in the bank. Those are huge foul shots where we both talked about it's good to lose the game's even close. Sanabria misses the first. It's contagious. Like a lot of things in basketball, this kid's a 75 percenter. So St. Francis Brooklyn now 12 of 23 in this game they, for the free throw line. They've done everything that you could ask to win this game except this. This is an absolutely gigantic fashion. And he missed. Fell it. And then, Get something going to the basket. Run your offense, get something going to the rim. Inside, Reed. Block and a foul called on four. Really good offense. Interesting, he, he went with the, his uh, left hand, which is a proper play. Reed makes the better play. Once again, as a coach, this makes you sick that you're gonna not make foul shot. You're gonna see the press again. Now, it's a one possession game with a six second difference. You do not have to foul, but you know they're going to give the trap a chance and foul. Just the way St. Francis is shooting foul shots. Two point game. You'll see a trap and you'll see a foul. All five Robert Morris players in the backcourt front room. As well. All five Colonials are in the backcourt. Jones bumped on the side. Foul for, he's a one for three tonight, but he's a terrific foul shooter. Brent Jones going to the line to shoot two. He's three of five at the line here in this one. I, I stand, I'm sorry, I missed that. Brent Jones has played a terrific game. This is what's at stake tonight. Brian. Jones has had a great game. You've got a sense that he can make these. If he makes the first, 
I get everybody off the line. He's got 22 points, 20 since halftime. I get everybody off the line because it's a three-point game, scramble situation. I know that's what St. Francis does. I really want to be matched up when they come over here on this. That's my concern. They've got their big guy fall on the other end of the floor, and Jones connects two clutch free throws there for St. Francis Brooklyn. Get something going to the rim. Two possession game. Don't settle. Robert Morris down four. 30 seconds to go. Reed with the fadeaway. Great shot. One possession game. They break the pressure. And Tyreek Jewell will go to the line to shoot two. You can play that game now. I'll play that game now. I'm going to tell you a, a statistic. Ken Palm did it over the last 10 years. It doesn't matter. 94% chance to win either way. Is that crazy? Let's all, but everyone makes a big deal about it. That's a game I can play. Jewell misses the first. Right now, St. Francis should be matching up. They're not. They're kind of standing around. Like, let's get it, let's get matched up and figure it out. And do we know our strategy right now? St. Francis Brooklyn now 10 of 21 from the free throw line here in this second half. Two-point game. Want to make I call time out if I'm Coach Bracken. I don't think the kid, they're not fouling. You don't have to take a three. Shot clock off, three-point game. Jones loses the ball. They're gonna look at that. They should look at the monitor. I have no idea if that went off of it. They, they, they should look at the monitor and see who that went off of. I'm sure they will. Don't foul. Let's see if you can get a steal or three second, five second play. Handed a trigger it in. Oh! Turnover! Jones misses the bunny. Put back doesn't go. And Fall corrals the rebound. Crazy. Here's the other thing that's crazy, Zach. They tried to foul. He's on a miss. He's got a miss too. Now it's a Andy Fall is a 67% free throw shooter. And this half Steve, 11 of 22 at the free throw line. This kid's been a big part of the win. Think about the magnitude of that foul shot. Two possession game. Get up. That's a great timeout. Now you can set your defense. His six block shots. The junior from New York City. He won the Juco title in 2013 at the College of Central Florida. Another big free throw. I love the kid's attitude. He just plays. Get away. Let him catch it. Get away. The three doesn't go. Another jumper as time runs out. And St. Francis.